Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to build this awesome $550 gaming setup with everything you see here included with the microphone, the keyboard, the mouse, the monitor, all that stuff. And I'll show you guys how to build this here in just a few minutes. Let's get into it. All right, so the first part of any good gaming setup is of course the desk, and I wanted to keep this portion of the setup a little bit cheaper so that I could afford some nicer stuff for later. So what we're using is an Ikea desk with some legs here. Uh, this one's by Linmon. It's kind of upside down for you guys, but I believe this is a 47 inch desk. It's got like this nice uh, birch kind of tabletop look to it, and then the, uh, the sides and the bottom are white to match the legs that I got here. So also part of the carpet, it doesn't look that dirty in person. It just, the camera picks it up, makes it look like it's bad. It's not, it's just the way the carpet's designed. So leave me alone about it. So uh, anyways, we gotta go through. So anyways, uh, I gotta go through here and take these screws. And uh, I believe there's probably something like six screws for each of these legs. And I gotta put them into the bottom of each of the four corners of this desk here. So I'm gonna go do that off camera and we'll get this desk set up. And then once we do that, I will reconvene with you guys and we will start the next part of this build process. So I'll be right back. All right, so the new desk is built and I gotta say, I'm actually pretty impressed with how much heft this desk has. I didn't have a lot of faith in it because it's an Ikea product, obviously, but uh, it's actually not that bad and the legs are nice and stable. It doesn't shake around too much at all when you when you move it, so that's good. So next we're gonna move on to the monitor stand here. This is just a single monitor, uh, like a articulating sort of arm mount that'll clamp onto the desk in the, in the back there. And then we'll be able to hang the monitor off of this. That way it gives it more of a, uh, more of a, a seamless look, if you will. That's what I'm going for with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw you guys on the tripod and then we'll, we'll dig into this box here and see what we got. And we'll, uh, we'll get this mount put on the desk and we'll go from there. All right, so here's the monitor that we're gonna use. A Spectre C30. This is an ultra wide monitor. Uh, it was about 280 bucks, I believe. I could have gotten two cheap, regular, smaller monitors, but uh, you know, I've never actually used an ultra wide monitor before. So I wanted to try something different with this build and that's what we're doing today. So uh, yeah, it is curved as well. So it's, it's gonna have a nice look to the desk. It'll look very clean. That's what I'm going for. If you guys want more specs on the monitor, you can check it out in your own time. I'm not gonna bother showing too much about it. Here it actually is. I've got my, my camera lens on the highest setting possible so that it's really far away. So that you guys can see the whole thing in the shot. All right, so if you guys couldn't tell, I kind of had to make a last minute change to the setup. Uh, if we pick this up, you can see my desk stand is no longer there. And we are instead using the stock mount that comes with the monitor itself. Uh, I tried time and time again to get that stand to work on the desk and I just couldn't do it. I spent about an hour and a half finicking around with this stupid thing, trying to figure out why everything was doing the thing it was. It literally broke when I took it out of the box. I don't know if I can flash back to that clip. Oh, what just happened? I tried to get that piece back on to hold the monitor in the same position, it wouldn't work. I was trying to loosen the bolts to get the thing to adjust properly and I just couldn't do it. It, was, it literally broke a screwdriver of mine to get it done. So I said, forget it. We're just gonna go with the regular monitor mount for, or rather the monitor stand that comes with it and uh, we'll, we'll just have to go with this. It's not the most ideal situation, but it'll still work and it should still look great in the end. So let's go ahead and move on to the mouse mats, the mouse itself and the keyboard. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, first things first, we got the mouse mats. So let's crack this bad boy open. Hopefully nothing else goes too bad with this video. So what we got here is just a plain black really long mouse mat. Now in the past, when I've done setup videos, a lot of people have asked me to use these really long ones like this. And I've kind of tried to stay away from them simply because 
it didn't really work with my other set of videos. And usually I drill a hole in the desk and I'll run the wires through it and then I would have to cut a hole in this as well, which I don't wanna do. However, with this setup, we're doing something different with the keyboard and mouse. So uh, this will work just fine for that. So, so next up we have the keyboard itself. For this, I'm using Logitech G13 wireless keyboard. Uh, I don't remember the price off the top of my head, but I'll put it on screen right about now. Now this is a wireless keyboard, so we won't have to worry about any cables this time around, which is why we're using that big mouse mat. So we'll do a quick unboxing here for you guys. Throw that off to the side. Then we got this here. Ooh, look at that. Lovely packaging, I'll tell you that much. I do like it. Uh, let's go ahead and pull this out. So in the box, we also have a smartphone holder. This comes with the keyboard for free. You just put that on your desk like that. You can slap your phone in there, pretty cool. We'll use this in the setup as well, just because it came with it, might as well use it. And then also in the box, we have USB sensor in here to uh, improve the signal of the wireless keyboard. So we're gonna have the bottom of the keyboard here. You've got the flip out legs, obviously, to increase the angle at which you type at. And then right in here, if I can get it open, you've got your AA batteries and the little USB thing here. This is what you will use for the wirelessness of the keyboard. So if I set this down here for a second, so, like I said, this is the thing that you use to uh, increase the signal. It's basically just a USB extension cord. You plug this end into your PC, then you plug this end into the little receiver here, something like that. And then you would put this on your desktop. And that way, when you're using the wireless keyboard, uh, you won't have any signal issues and this will have a nice fast response time to whatever you're using it for. So this is a mechanical keyboard from Logitech, obviously. I haven't actually used any Logitech products in my builds, except for the first one, I used their cheap mouse, but that was kind of a piece of crap. So I got this, and then I got the mouse, which I'll show you guys in a second. Like I said, this is a mechanical keyboard. However, it is very quiet. I don't know if you guys can hear that over the sound of my voice. And before we get too crazy with anything with the keyboard, let's show you guys the mouse while we're at it. We're using the Logitech G602. No particular reason I picked this mouse, it just fit the budget. So I guess that is a particular reason I picked it then, huh? Uh, it's wireless, just the same as the keyboard. It's got a nice weight to it, I'll be honest. I do like this. Granted, I haven't actually used it yet. It's the only time will tell. And then inside here, we also got another one of these wireless receiver USB thingies. And then inside the box, we also have another one of these USB extenders for increasing the signal of the receiver. So I'll show you guys how we'll incorporate that. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and set up the keyboard, the mouse, and the mouse mat over here, up on the desktop so you guys can see what it's actually gonna look like when it's done. All right, so here you guys go. This is the kind of, I guess, half finished product of the top of the desk. Here you can see we got the, the wireless mouse, wireless keyboard, we got the included smartphone stand, and then we got our two wireless sensors right here, perfectly underneath the monitor. That's how I was gonna mount them before with the actual desk mount that I had, but fortunately you guys know that did not work out too well for me, so we're still doing it the same way. This is just stuck on with some double-sided tape. And then right here we have a clip manager to keep the wires nice and uniform back there. That's just these things right here. Oh, Hill brand. I got these on Amazon. Forgot how much they were, but uh, these things are a lifesaver for cable management and such like that. So I'd recommend picking some of these up if you need, uh, need to manage your cables. These are also really useful if you're using a wired mouse and keyboard. It'll help to direct the wires where you want them to go. Uh, it's just easier than having loose wires all over your desk. But uh, I think now we can go ahead and mount the microphone stand and the microphone on this side. So let's go ahead and show you guys what we're going to do for that. Alright, so for the mic stand we're using 
this Inno Gear boom arm right here. Got this on Amazon, of course. So the first thing we have to do, as with all of these things, is take the desk clamp, and we're just gonna attach it to the side of the desk right here. Pretty easy, hopefully it doesn't give us any trouble like the last one did. And once you have that done, we have this part here, which is the actual boom arm itself. So we'll take this little black piece here, and we'll stick it in this opening. Might have to loosen the screw on the side. And then once that's in place, we can go ahead and tighten it a little bit. Now we have ourselves a functioning boom arm for our microphone, which I will show you guys next. So because this is a relatively cheap setup build, I didn't want to spend too much money on a microphone. So what I ended up going with was this right here. This is a Toner TC777 microphone. Uh, actually, Toner sent me this microphone for free to do a review of it. And I did that a few videos ago on my channel. So if you guys want to check out how this microphone actually sounds, there is a video on my channel for that. Uh, I'll give you guys a quick unboxing of it, even though I've already done this. You got a pop filter included and a windscreen as well as the actual microphone itself. This is a USB microphone. So I think this costs about 40 bucks on Amazon, so it's a pretty good deal. I compared this to the Blue Yeti microphone that I have and it's it actually compares pretty well. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It does sound pretty good. So like I said, I'm not going to go into too much detail about this microphone. I've already done a review on it on my channel. But uh, basically what we have to do is just take these tripod legs right here and we're going to unscrew them. Just like that. Now there's obviously a thread inside of here and this uh, boom arm actually comes with this adapter here for different thread sizes. So what we'll do is we'll just screw this on to the boom arm like so until it's nice and tight and then we'll take this part of the stand on the microphone and we'll just screw that onto here as well so I'm gonna do that off camera and then I'll show you guys what it looks like in the end I'll also go ahead and throw on the pop filter or the windscreen I haven't picked which one yet but I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick and then I'll be right back all right so there you guys go you can see I got the mic mounted up on here with the pop filter mounted as well uh, now what we have to do is find a way to organize this USB cable that comes out of the mic And for that we're simply going to use some small little four inch zip ties here And what we're going to do is we're going to just run this cable along the actual boom arm itself Down to where the PC is going to be and uh, it should be pretty easy I'm just going to zip tie the cable to the arm and that's about it but if you do this make sure you do leave a little bit of slack at this point up here so that way when you move the arm it actually has room to move and it won't rip your cable out. So I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera real quick and I'll be back when I get that completed. All right, guys. So there you have it. Here is pretty much the final product of this setup. All right. So you guys can see we've got our 30 inch ultra wide curved monitor display right there. The Logitech G613 right here. G603 mouse or sorry, 602. We've got a smartphone stand back there that came with the keyboard. We've got our two wireless sensor extenders right there. We've got our Toner TC777 microphone here with the obvious boom arm as well. And that is about it for this setup. Uh, there are two things that you could add to this if you wanted to. The first of which is a wireless charging pad. Uh, personally, I like the look of a nice clean desk, and I think adding this with the smartphone stand over there would kind of just make it look a little bit too, I guess, crowded on the desk, if you will, for my liking, so I'm not going to do that. The other thing you could also add is a set of LED strip lights on the back of the monitor if you wanted to get that nice, cool look. Uh, this, like I said, this keyboard and this mouse, they don't have backlighting or any kind of customizable lighting on them, so I didn't want to like overdo it. Uh, however, this monitor does have, so I can show it here. It does have blue lights in the back here on both sides. So when the lights are off in the room like this, you can kind of see a 
faint blue light on the back of the wall, which is nice because that matches my color of my logo, obviously, and Logitech's blue color for the G keys. So the camera doesn't really do a good job of picking it up, especially in low light, but there is a nice glow on the back wall from the monitor alone. That's why I'm not throwing these LED strip lights on. But I, there is enough money in the budget left. If you wanted to throw these in there, you absolutely could do that. However, I'm not doing it for mine. One more thing I wanna mention before I wrap the video up is that I wanna explain why I went with these two right here as opposed to anything else. First of all, my requirement for this video was obviously first the budget. My $550 budget was pretty much the main decider in what I was purchasing. And I also wanted wireless because I haven't done that before. I wanted to do something different for this and wireless is a game I haven't really tried out yet. So this keyboard does have six G keys that you can customize uh, through their software. You can you know, make shortcuts with that crap if you want. I'm not really into that. And then you also have, I think there's like nine or 10 different customizable buttons on the side of the mouse as well. So just keep that in mind. Uh, they are very customizable. They do have very good reviews on Amazon, though I haven't had time to test them out myself. But anyways, there you guys go. That is the $550 Mr. Lags gaming setup. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next build.